Hi, I'm Tiffany, and I'm here to help you navigate the Rod Library, which might be a little difficult at first. Um, we're going to start on the first floor, which is technically the basement, not the floor that you started on. So, let's go. These are books. You have to um, ask someone to get a key to help you move through and search through this. These are study rooms. This is usually the football study room from, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, like, 6 to 8 or something like that. And then more books galore. And have people help you find what, what books you want. There's a lot of um, history books down here and geography, and there's some atlases down here. There's, and then now we're going up to the second floor, which is the main floor that you come in on. Now this is the front entrance to the library that you go in and out of. Is the book return and the circulation desk. You can ask them questions, you can check out certain things um, like DVDs and anything that you need. And then here is the multi service center where you can check out laptops, chargers for your laptop, phone chargers, any number of media things that you might need. And you can ask someone if you need if you need help over here and you need either your fingerprint scan or your ID to check out things. Okay. There's a lot of things to do on the second floor. There's study tables where you can get together groups. There's printers. There's games as well, like this Connect floor for Jenga. The second floor is more for printing stuff off and group work because you can get together and be pretty much as loud as possible. There are games over in the left corner by the bistro. And then there's booths here to get together in your group. <laughs> They're more comfortable than more comfortable than most things. And the bistro's here to help you if you're hungry or need a snack. And then I'm going to take you to the third floor, but not the fourth floor, because the fourth floor you can't speak very loud, because that's where people are going for uh, the most quiet space to study and get their work done to focus. The third floor is more for studying, but you can talk and be together as a group. And here you go, you can check out books. There's restroom right over there and this is a more quiet floor so you can kind of study but still be with your group my name is danielle fisher um i'm a junior so that helps i work here at the reference desk at the library so yeah okay why should a student come to the rod library um for a lot of reasons. It's a great place to study. Um, obviously, there are three floors you can go to. Each one is quieter than the next, so if you like kind of a collaborative space or a good quiet study space, we can fill both of those needs. Um, and there's always a lot of help if you need help on projects, papers, looking things up, finding a book. I mean, there's always someone you can ask, and we have a lot of other resources as well. Are there any activities that go on around the library? There are plenty of activities. I know at the beginning of the year there's like the bash in the stacks. So you can come to the library and play games. Um, Rodcon is coming up actually. So that's like a mini comic con. And uh, there's always tons of other things too. So it kind of just depends on the time of the year. <laughs> what makes the library a great place to come and study? Um, again, like I said, there's a lot of different options for, um, you know, different spaces. We have study rooms if you want somewhere, somewhere more private. We have a lot of open seating on the second floor or the main floor where, you know, you can talk and collaborate. You don't have to be super quiet. And also, fourth floor is, you know, complete silence. So it's a great place for just quiet and good study time. Do you have any advice for incoming students when they come to the library? Um, probably just utilize it as much as possible. I mean, you know, you can come in, you have free printing, free resources, people are here to help you, you know, basically whenever you need it. Um, you know, a lot of people overlook the library, and I think just knowing what's here and engaging yourself and learning about what you can do here is really good for your education. Thank you.